Hello, my dear students of class 11. Today I am going to start new topic of class 11. The name of the topic is uniformly accelerated motion. My dear students, you have already studied that whenever any body is in non-uniform motion, then its velocity with respect to time changes non-uniformly. My dear students, if this change in velocity with respect to time is uniform, then that motion is called uniformly accelerated motion. If the change in velocity with respect to time is uniform, then the motion of body is called uniformly accelerated motion. There are three equations which represents the uniformly accelerated motion and you have already studied these three equations of motion in class 9. These three equations of motions are in which the first one is V is equals to U plus AT. Second is S is equals to UT plus half AT square. And third is V square is equals to U square plus 2AS. These three equations are called equation of uniformly accelerated motion. Now, question is from where these equations comes. So there are a derivation of all the these three equations of motion by three methods. In which first two method you have already studied in your class 9th. The first two method was mathematical and graphical. Here the new type of derivation you will study and that type of derivation is with the help of differentiation or with the help of integration you are going to derive these three equations of motion. So to derive these three equations of motion with the help of calculus that is either by differentiation or by integration you should understand the basic concept of differentiation and integration. My dear students, this differentiation and integration are the mathematical terms. Here, I am going to tell you its use in physics, how we can use differentiation, how we can use integration and in short, I, I will try to make you understand what is differentiation and what is integration. So let's go one by one. First of all, I will tell you about something for the di differentiation. So look here. <coughs> here the definition of differentiation is written. According to that definition, instantaneous rate of change y with respect to x. Instantaneous means at any moment. Rate of change of y with respect to x. Now you are thinking what is y here, what is x here what the meaning of with respect to so many things are coming in your mind so just try to understand in between y and x x is called independent variable means which is not dependent such type of variable which is not dependent and y is dependent variable means such type of variable which is dependent means if there is an equation like this in which y is the function of x means y is depending on the values of x. If x will change, y will change. If x will not change, y will not change. This shows what? This shows the value of y depends upon x. y and x. Because x is variable, it is function of x. It can be x square plus 2x plus 1. It can be x cube minus 2x square plus 2x minus 1. Something like that in which value of x when you will put, you will get value of y for different value of x you will get different value of y so because y is depending so that is why it is called dependent variable and x is not depending only you are changing its value to get the other values of y that is why x is called independent variable so if any relation is given in the form of variables two variables remember two variables if any relation in the terms of physics if any relation between the physical quantity is given in the terms of two variables in which one variable is dependent variable and other variable is independent variable, then we use differentiation. Understand? Now the question is how we write differentiation? So to write differentiation, we use a term here dy by dx. Why we use dy by dx only? Why not other thing? Because in here in the example I am showing y and x variable so the variable which is dependent that variable should be here and variable which is independent 
that variable should be here. For example, if any equation is like this, v equals to t square plus 2t plus 1. Now the question is how we write in the form of differentiation. Here you can see v is dependent variable, t is independent variable. So we always differentiate dependent variable with respect to independent variable. Here dependent variable is v, independent variable is t. Now dv by dt is in the differentiation form. Understand? Now, so to apply differentiation in physics, you should know some formula, important formula which are used in physics very largely. Those formulas are number first is if anywhere we can d by dx of x to the power n. Here x to the power n is the variable dependent. X is independent variable. Then it will be n x power n minus 1. Means whatever the power is present here, put that power here and from the variable reduce one power. So you will get n x power n minus 1. For example, it is given differentiate with respect to x x cube then the answer will be 3 x square ok now suppose it is d by dx of x to the power minus 2 then here in place of n minus 2 is present so you write minus 2 here and over x minus 2 minus 1 so your answer will be minus 2 x to the power minus 3 in this way you can apply this formula Second, might be differentiation is there with respect to s, but any constant is present. Constant means any number is present. Then what you will do? Differentiation of any constant is always zero. Remember, for example, d by dx of 5 is written, no x by Then this will be zero. Clear? Next is, if d by dx of k x to the power n. Remember this k is constant. This k is constant. So constant will come before this. You can see right hand side. And the rest things are as it is. And you have already studied its differentiation here. Then you can solve this. Here you can come. Fourth formula. If it is written d by dx and you are going to differentiate anything in which plus or minus are both signs present. For example, given d by dx of x cube minus 2x square plus 2x plus 1, you are going to differentiate this. Then what you will do? Then you will do what? You will do separately differentiation. d by dx of x cube, d by dx of x cube, then minus sign as it is, d by dx of 2x square plus sign d by dx of 2x plus d by dx of 1. Now d by dx of x cube with the help of this formula you can write 3x square minus d by dx of 2x square. So 2 is constant. You will bring this before this. Now d by dx of x square is present. That will be only 2x plus d by dx of 2x. 2 will come here into d by dx of x power what? 1 x power 1 means what? 1 into x power 1 minus 1 means x power 0 x power 0 means what? 1 means only 1 will come and d by dx of constant is what? 0. So your answer will be 3x square minus 4x plus 2. In this way you can differentiate this, this type of thing. Now suppose there are there is a multiple sign between the two variables like this u and v. Then, first what I have done, I have taken u outside before this, then d by dx of v plus sign, v here, then d by dx of u. Now, one example I am telling you, for example, d by dx of, suppose that it is written under root x into under root x plus 1, you are going to differentiate this. Question is, how you will differentiate? Now, you can see, this is like u and this is like v and between this multiple sign is present. So first you take this one means under root x d by dx of root x plus 1. Okay then plus sign 
root x plus 1 d by ds of root x then you can differentiate this and you will get result in the same way addition subtraction you have done multiplication you have done now if division is there so here is the formula of division is written apply that formula and you can solve if any variable division sign is present between the variable then you can differentiate that and you will get result so my dear students these six formula are very important formula which you will find often in the physics numerical so try to understand some more formulas are there i am going to tell you one by one other form before that try to understand about the differentiation the differentiation is instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x by very simple example you can understand differentiation one more time for example this is a copy in front of you now in this particular copy you are knowing whole volume or whole area of the copy okay you want a small area then what you do area is given in the terms of variable what you will do suppose that a small area is given you want to measure whole area yeah small volume is given you want to measure whole volume whole volume is given you want to measure small volume so for such type of variable matter we apply calculus and what differentiation this is the story which i have represented in front of you okay now other formula seventh one is now i am discussing about the kinematic ratios if there is kinematic ratio then how will differentiate this is the formula if d by dx and you are going to differentiate sin x with respect to x then it will be cos x remember that whatever the term is present here that term must be present here if here it is sin theta then this should be d by d theta not d by dx remember this for everywhere same rule will be followed now d by ds of sin x is equals to cos x for example if it is given in this way d by ds of sin 5x now question is how you will differentiate this because you have studied only for the x now here 5x is present so in your mind you try to understand this like x only so if you will feel only it is written x present presently it is 5x but try to understand it is only x then your answer will be cos x but here 5 is present so this will be 5 cos 5x but you have not differentiated this term so now in 2 you will differentiate this term also because if x was present only then no need to differentiate again here more than x is present that is why you are differentiating again so d by dx of 5x when you will differentiate we will get 5 only so your answer will be 5 cos 5x understand in the same way next formula is if in the terms of cos then d by dx of cos x minus sin x d by dx of tan x will be sec square x d by dx of sec x will be tan x into sec x d by dx of cos x x is written here d by dx of cot x formula is written here now third formula is if d by dx of in the terms of log anything is written then what it will be it will be 1 by x answer will be 1 by x okay now for the formula if it is d by dx of exponential power x e power x then your answer will be e power x only if d by dx of e power ax is there the a will come out e power ax as it is so these are some formula which you will apply in the differentiation for the physics okay now here i am telling you use of differentiation in this chapter uniformly accelerated motion all of you know the relation between velocity position and time you know a formula that velocity is displacement upon time now displacement can be refer as position time is that is this now velocity is position upon time now if accurate position accurate time is given then we can calculate by the simple formula velocity equals to displacement upon time you can solve you can get result now suppose that the relation between position and time because we know that motion will take place when position changes with respect to time now if relation between position and time is given in the terms of variable okay now the question is how we calculate velocity 
So, if the relation is given in the form of variable, then we apply differentiation. So, remember this formula for velocity. Velocity is the differentiation of position with respect to time. This position may be in terms of y. This position may be in terms of z. Not necessary that every time you will find a position in terms of x. It will be mentioned in the question. Position is given in terms of x or position is given in terms of y or position is given in terms of t. So just try to understand with the help of one question. There is a relation between the position and time in which position is dependent variable you can see and time is independent. So if position is dependent and time is independent then this differentiation form will be dx by t. And when you divide position with the time you will get velocity. So the question is find velocity at t equals to 2 seconds. So velocity from here it is dx by dt means d by dt of in place of x you can put t square plus 2t plus 1. When you differentiate this with the help of the formula which I have told you, you will get 2t plus 2. Now question in question it is asked at t equals to 2 seconds. So velocity at t equals to 2 is what? 2 into 2 plus 2. 2 to the 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 meter per second. In this way, you can calculate velocity. Now the next question. Question is changed. Question is now calculate acceleration. Acceleration, you all know, it is change in velocity upon time. Change in velocity upon time, we can write directly formula. If their motion is in a particular, you can say complete platform. Now, if in the terms of variable it is given, then how we calculate? For that, we apply differentiation. Now, acceleration because it is change in velocity upon time, so here it is written dv by dt. Now, here is the equation you can see, an equation is present here in which velocity is dependent variable, time is independent variable because by changing the value of time, you will get different velocity. Now, the question is what is acceleration? So, acceleration is dv by dt that is d by dt of value of velocity is t square minus 2t plus 1. Now when you will differentiate by putting the other formula you will get 2t and minus 2 here. Acceleration suppose that is asked at 2 seconds then 2 into 2 means 4 minus 2 that is 2 meter per second square is acceleration. So, in this way, you can solve velocity and acceleration with the help of differentiation. Okay. Now, differentiation part is over. Now, the next part is integration. Integration is reverse of differentiation. Whatever the process you were doing in differentiation, reverse process when you will do, you will get integration. So the definition of integration means it is reverse of differentiation and it is called integration. Symbol of integration is this. You will make like this. You are making S in this way. So don't bend these two curves this much. Only this much. This is integration symbol. There are some important formulae for integration also. Look one by one. Integration sign x to the power n dx. Means x is any variable over which any power like n, n is suppose that 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, anything it will be present. Then what you will do? You will get answer x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. For example, it is written x power 4 dx. Then your answer will be x power 5, 1. Second one is integration constant k dx. Here constant is present. Constant will come outside to the integration sign. Only integration dx. Now question is what is the value of integration dx? k is as it is integration. It is written dx here. This means here it is x power c. If it was dy then here y power c. If it is dz then z power c. And when you will integrate x power 0 in this manner what you will get? x power 0 plus 1 upon 0 plus 1 means you will get x only. So your answer will be kx. In this way if it is integration k dy then answer will be k1. Now 
integration k x power n dx k is constant so k will come outside integration x power n dx as it is same here also integral now equation is given either plus sign is present between the variable or minus sign is present so accordingly that we will put plus or minus sign and separately we can integrate both the variables separately different different integration sign integration e power x dx it will be e power x integration e power ax dx then e power ax as it is and whatever is written before x divide it that is a will come in the denominator okay now some more formula seven formula for the kinematic ratio if integration sin x dx is there that will be minus cos x integration cos x dx is given sin x in this way you can understand for the cot x tan x cosec x sec x etc okay now the, this is very important formula i written here suppose that integration sin nx dx is given in the case of differentiation you should remember that there i told you what if you want to differentiate d by dx of sin 5x not sin x then what you have done there you have written cos 5x as it is and that 5x you have differentiated one more time and 5 you have written before cos so your answer was 5 cos 5x now here again same example but in the terms of integration then what you will do this n is any number 1 2 3 4 5 6 any number is there then what you will do remember just try to understand this nx in your mind as x so it is written sin x dx so your answer will be minus cos x but because it is nx so you have written here nx now question is from where this n comes here now here nx you will differentiate one more time in the case of differentiation you have written d by dx of that 5x with multiply sign here you will write in the denominator means you will write d by dx of nx so d by dx of nx means you will get what you will get only n here in this way you can integrate this this is a special type of formula i written here just try to understand because sometimes you will get question in this pattern also then how you will solve that integrate ax plus b whole power n till now you have studied integration x power n dx you know the answer of this but here not x power n something is written with the x in this manner so in your mind just try to understand this whole as x so if this whole is as x then here you can see ax plus b whole power n plus 1 just like the formula integration x power n dx you know x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so if you will try to understand this as x only then this will be x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 okay now question is where this ax plus b will go now now this ax plus b will again differentiate in the denominator side if it was in the differentiation it was multiplied in the case of differentiation it will it will divide here because i told you integration is just reverse of differentiation and in this way when you will differentiate this then the your answer will be what ax plus b power n plus 1 this n plus 1 as it is and differentiating this thing you will get only a so this will be the answer okay now here what is the use of integration in physics for that just look here in this particular chapter uniformly accelerated motion you all know this formula very well in differentiation i have explained already dx by dt is v where x is position v is velocity t is time you know this now dx will be v d integrating both sides integrating both sides integration dx will be integration v d integration dx just now i told you it will be x only x is integration v d that means what this indicates that just like in the differentiation we calculate velocity with the help of position and time here integration we calculate position with the help of velocity and time understand here you know this formula you have already used in the differentiation chapter topic 
now here db is adt integrating both sides integral db is integral adt integral db you will get b integral adt this shows that if we want to calculate velocity then we can integrate acceleration with respect to time and we can calculate velocity so my dear students how much i told you that is used only in physics if you will see in the terms of mathematics this calculus branch is very big there is indefinite integral there is definite integration so many things are there so for mathematics it is not completed but in physics whatever is your required i have tried to give you 100% for the physics so just try to solve number of numericals based on differentiation based on integration and if you understand the, this is small concept of differentiation and integration definitely you are able to derive equation of motion with the help of calculus method in my next video lecture i will tell you how you will derive equation of motion with the help of calculus till then you try to understand try to understand solve it number of numericals please solve it okay all the best god bless you